everyone, it's Marty, your yoga instructor. It's been a long while since I've seen you all, so I thought it would be really great to do a little video. Um, this way you can do your chair yoga at home, and especially in a time where we might need a little bit more um, grounding and um, ways to relax. So find yourself a comfortable chair, a real comfortable chair. Um, you can do ones with sides or without. It really is going to be a preference. Uh, if it's a chair that's really hard, maybe it's just a wood base. Even putting a pillow underneath can really change the dynamics of how comfortable you'll feel. Okay? So we're going to start off. We're just going to get some really comfortable in our chair. Sit up nice and tall. Let your spine align and stack one on top of the neck. Relax your shoulders. Release your jaw. And then when you're ready, let your eyelids close. And just bring some of that focus inward to ourselves. Feeling that breath as it goes in and out. And noticing how our body slowly relaxes as we bring ourselves inward. Finding a bit of our center. Start to lengthen and deepen those breaths. Filling up and emptying out. Letting the sounds around you make you feel relaxed. Now bring at least one hand, if not two, to that low belly right beneath your belly button. On your next breath in, fill that low belly as much as you can. Exhale as you pull that low belly in towards your spine. Every breath filling up and pulling in. Good. Continue those deep breaths in your low belly, releasing a lot of tension that we're holding here. our body a way to detoxify our digestive system a little movement now move those hands up now to the lowest rib really feel that low rib here you can lean back into your chair and on your next breath in fill those ribs and feel those ribs expand outward like fish and then as you exhale, feel them draw back in towards each other. Good. Every breath, feeling them expand and separate. Once again, releasing some of that tension that we hold here. Not only in our rib cage, but through towards our spine and our back. Take one more here. And then really start to sit yourself up towards the edge of your chair. Make sure you feel supported and rounded. Know that the back of your chair is always there for support if you need it. Bring your feet um, at least hip distance apart for that stability. Again, sitting up nice and tall, sliding that spine like a string is coming out the top of your head, being pulled up towards the sky. Roll those shoulders all the way down and back, and then forward. Good. Just a couple of these, getting rid of that tension here again. Good. Now do one at a time, like we're, we're swimming or we're dancing. We can pretend. Mm -hmm. Good. Reverse those circles. And release. Perfect. We're going to take that left arm, reach it all the way up towards the sky. That right hand can be on our thigh, can be even on the side of our chair. We're just going to lift and we're going to reach. Good. Try to get that whole shoulder up, that whole rib cage up. Big breath in. And release. Good. We'll switch. Right arm extends up. Same thing. Find that leg. Go ahead and reach up a little bit higher. And release. Good. We're going to go right into the feet. We'll give our arms.
arms a bit of a break. We're going to bring that left ankle on top of our right knee. Now you have a lot of options here. Um, if this is not obtainable for you, that right leg can be a little bit longer. It'll give you a little bit of uh, less tension in that hip. Um, you can also bring that foot on top of that ankle as well. Okay, just having that outer rotation of our hip is going to help us stretch out those inner muscles and those muscles into our back and to the sides of our thighs. So here we're going to keep those toes flexed back so that it keeps that knee nice and strong and keeps it safe. We can stay here and we can even start to fold a little bit into that left thigh. Good. You'll feel that muscle really stretch. You'll feel it here again. You'll feel it into the back too really important muscles to stretch out for that side of nerve, um, even for those SI joints. But don't forget to breathe. Okay, and then go ahead and release. Shake out that leg a little bit, and then we'll just switch. Again, knowing what your limitations are, this side might be completely different than the other side, and that's okay. So same thing, keep those toes flexed back, and then take a moment to maybe fold forward, keeping those deep breaths, slowly helping those muscles relax and let go here. Cut one more breath. Awesome, go all the way up. We got those legs. Okay, we'll bring those feet a little wider this time, wider than hip distance. Hands come onto our knees. We're really going to move that spine here. So as we breathe in, we're going to pull that belly forward, shoulders back. Maybe we look up. And then as we exhale, we roll, pulling that belly towards the back of our chair, rounding our shoulders. Okay, and then just move back and forth, breathing in. center here. So sit up nice and tall. Just breathe in. Reach those arms all the way up. And exhale back through center. Two more. Breathe up. And exhale it down. Good. Last one. Big breath. And exhale. Good. Nice little short practice for ourselves. Again, taking a moment to just relax into the back of our seat. All that little tension that we've released will really feel a difference. So take a moment just to close your eyes. Feel supported and relaxed out of your chair. Letting those shoulders roll away from your ears. And feeling the skin on your forehead get soft. Feel your jaw soften and let your lips split open. Noticing the change in your breath as it comes in and out.
and the whole world around you. so grateful when we can embrace each other and really enjoy each other's um, 